Hi, my name is Phyllis Y. Whitley, Spiritology Live. Together, we will break free from religious shackles and elevate your journey toward what higher consciousness and transformation, self-discovery. As we breathe life into my number one Amazon best-selling book, Spiritology, you will see that each episode is a spiritual, metaphysical, and a holistic will being for you to master and manifest your promised land within. Today, let's go. Hi, hi, hi. Happy New Year's, everybody. It is 2024. I shouldn't even say the year because I don't want you to get wrapped up in a podcast. This podcast will be heard years from now. This is a year that I am very grateful and I'm very thankful because, yes, wisdom come with age. Every year I get wiser and wiser, and I am so glad. (laughs) But guess what? If you are new to my podcast, please go back and listen to some fabulous, raw, but truthful podcast that will have you at least looking at your promised land and saying, I'm getting ready to possess it. And when you possess it, that's where I come in. I teach you how to live in it. What are we going to talk about today? We're going to dive straight into it. 2020. Whatever year you win, it's a new year and you crossing over and you look at yourself and say, I just can't do it again. I cannot have the old years that I've been having. Now, because we do everything for my book, Spiritology, I'm going to go over some chapters real quick, the title. And if this is something that you want to write down, because you're going to cross out later. Have you been experienced this in your household? One of the chapters is broke. Yes. Have you been broke every year? And you said, this is it. I want to manifest money, maybe relationship, maybe a new car, maybe a new house. The next chapter I have, I have one called Gangster Paradise. Oh yeah. It's some people's household is gangster. All kind of stuff. You know how they put the tape when somebody passed, somebody when you know, in real estate. I, I usually think when you see that tape, somebody had got killed or something. It is people that have so much drama in their house, they don't know what to do. You might have roommates. You may have family. It's time to start out and get a new something. I also have a chapter called Scandalous. But guess what? If you scandalous, hello, I will do my best to help you come from a scandalous consciousness to a queen consciousness. That's what I'm here for. Let's go in and see what I have for you. You're only going to get the dessert. The rest of me is all dinner. And that's my book, Spiritology. How do you change everything? How do you stop being broke? How do you stop being like you are the loneliest person in the world and nobody sees you or know you? How do you go from that to just being scandalous, making a fool out yourself, making a fool of other people? Or maybe it's not you, you say it's everybody around you. When I'm here to tell you something that's going to change your whole day and your future, and it's called life play, I'm going to teach you how to revise your life play. Because I'm in the business of revision, revising your whisper, your unspoken words that have been traumatized and compromised through the whispers behind you, around you, and even growing up. Yes, I understand you say, hey, I come from the wrong boulevard, a wrong neighborhood. But guess what? I'm speaking to adults here. Nobody might have told you, even your spiritual, so-called spiritual leader, or even the last motivational speaker you went to, did they tell you that you are the producer, the director, and the writer, and the actor? Oh, I'm going to go deeper than that. I'm going to teach you how to control your play. You don't want to miss this. This is going to be a series that's going to get us through the next couple months, so you can't miss it. Who am I going to talk about today? I'm going to talk about a producer. A lot of people say, oh, well, you know, 
Miss P, the producers, I heard is God. Yes, you are correct. But see, he's the invisible partner. But you are a producer. And I know it is easy. Some people want to be the follower. Some people don't want to be the leader. I'm going to teach you how to lead in a way that you, your life would never be the same. Because it's not me leading you. I'm going to show you how to revise your life play. And these roles that we are going to discuss is not only going to be personal growth, but it's going to be revising your story. So if you come from the brokenness, the gangsters, the scandalous, all of that stuff, you came from behind bars or some of you say, no, I wasn't actually in the prison, but I feel like my house is a prison household because I have no control over it. I'm here not to cure any kind of physical problem, but I'm here to help you on the spiritual realm to make you better understand what's going on in your physical world that's in front of you. I understand you're going to hear me go back and forth to spiritual and physical because some of you don't understand that you have another side to you. Oh, Miss P, I don't believe that. Really? What happened when you go to sleep? If you was all physical, you don't think they wouldn't give you anything before you have an operation? You understand? It's another side to you. You do dream, right? You do have those voices going in your head. Some of us, we have it to the extreme that it's a little bit. We can't go there. But I'm going to tell you, it is another side. And that side is controlled by a higher source than you. Now, if you don't believe me, I understand we have some people that's atheists. They probably won't even get in here. Or some people who just feel like, you know, I'm losing my faith. I don't know who to believe. Let me tell you something. The universe is in order. And you nor your bestie put it together. The world has an order. It's an order that the sun come out of. It's an order that the snow come and the snow is not coming in in Bahamas. It's an order that the sun is not overheating Alaska. Everything is moving. But we are going to teach you today how to control your life play because the world is going to still be the world. If you don't believe me, you get up and walk out there and don't dress. Go out there naked and see how fast your pajamas are going to change when they take you over to the Ward 7. I dare you to go to your job that way. And no, I don't dare you. Because some of you are just doing say, and Miss P told me to. Guess what? They going to call somebody. Oh, yeah. To get you. And they going to give you a, a pajama set. Most likely is white. And you can't move. You can't do anything. I'm not being funny here. This is the extreme. But people are taking medicine. People are going and doing all kind of holistic treatments to prevent from going toward with the medicine. We know what I have always said about the medicine community. I'm more holistic. Medical community is preventive. And if things happen, accidents happen, whatever, they do their job for that reason. But I do not believe that you have to make it a permanent thing. I am going to teach you how to be or teach you that you are your own producer in your life play. What is a, a producer? First of all, a producer is the one who's in charge of everything. The environment, divine inspiration is thriving all over. What I'm saying is you should be at peace. Your house is really what's going on in your mind. So if your house is filthy, dirty, and chaotic and drama, that is what's going on in your mind. Now, I understand when you was young or when you was growing up, your house was like that. Your house was actually called the broke. That was your house. Your mama, father house was called broke. That was their life play. You don't have to come from there. Yes, you might have came from their life play, but now you are grown I'm speaking to grown people. You have the power to produce your own life prey, but you're going to revise it because many of you come to me because you don't know what's going on. You don't like what's going on and you don't even realize that you can fix it. I understand that it is a lot of spiritual leaders who don't want you to know who you really are and therefore, you know, they want you to just be a follower. You have good 
motivational speakers and you have good spiritual leaders. Don't get me wrong, but they should be teaching you how to lead yourself. Now, you can be connected to somebody and you can really be a special part of their life. You can be the arm, the feet, whatever. Okay. And that's how you connect because we do need each other. We don't want you to be an ally. We don't want you to be just a one woman show, but you can if you know what you're doing. Now, as a producer, what do you need to know? You need to know that you are in charge of the vision for everybody. So before you can direct, before you can write, before you can even hire the actress and the actors, you have to know the whole concept. Now, in the physical world, you would say that the producer is one that takes care of the budget, the one who takes care of the logistics. You can say that, but they have to have the big vision because they are almost like the glue that allows everything to happen. Some of them just say, hey, I'll fund it. I'll do so-and-so. But they're not going to just fund everything. That's the way it is with you here as a human being with a spiritual. You have a, a physical body, but you have a spiritual side, a spiritual being. And that's connected to a higher source, not the higher source that the religious spiritual leaders unfortunately had you thinking, I got to go and beg. I got to cry. I got to plead. No, no, I got to go to church seven days a week. No, 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 no. While you are going to church seven days a week, your neighbor is walking around there manifesting every goddamn thing, including your house, because she's going to come over and say, I own this goddamn thing and I want some rent. That's what I mean by your promised land. Did anybody tell you that? Well, you know what, Miss P, it is hell over here. Yeah, but guess what? Can I tell you a hacking secret? Why are you letting people come into your play and control it? But, 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 my, my kids. Oh, no, 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 no. From the time they in your belly, I'm going to tell you right now, you should have an assignment. They should have a role. And if they are playing the gangster, you're going to have to do something. Mama going to have to cut strings. Suppose it's your other person, your spouse. This is when you know you in the wrong play is when you let somebody come into your life. I'm talking to the women here. You let a man come into your life and bring all of this baggage, all of this drama. It ain't going to be, no, you, no, 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 2020, 2020, whatever year you in, your new year should never be about broken dreams, being broke, gangster. And no, no, we don't want that. So the vision, how do you tap into the vision? You tap onto the vision in many ways. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my book because this particular chapter, I have a quote. And this is from Neville Goddard. And it says, nothing comes from without. All things come from within. I'm going to say that again. Nothing comes from without. All things come from within. Listen to what I'm saying to you. What you see already happened. What you see in your physical eyes already took place. It's coming from what you don't see and that's within you. Now, I know you said, oh my God, that's just too, what, 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 what are you made out of? Wait a minute, wait a minute, that's too, too, too deep. Just like you having dreams. Some of you have nightmares and then you get up and you say, oh my God, I, you know what? Deja vu, this happened. This is what I'm trying to teach you. It's a spiritual side to you that need to be linked up to a higher presence, a higher presence to give you a higher consciousness so you can go ahead and know how to see the vision. If you don't have a vision, huh? What did God say? You know what's going to happen. I know for those of you who say, I got to get some, I got to get some scriptures. Cause I mean, you know, if I, if I get scriptures, then I know she in the Bible. No, you don't because you, you probably never heard the scriptures that I'll be telling you. You only know one scripture and that's our father. So let's go. I'm going to give you a scripture and please y'all can write this down and go look at it. It's Proverbs 16, three. Mm hmm. This is the new, the NIV version, but you can look at anyone. This one says, commit to the Lord whatever you do and he would establish your plan. That is so deep. Do you understand 
that spiritual revelation right there is telling you, you must seek him. He says, seek the kingdom of God and all these things will be added. I'm not here. Listen, I'm not going to be one of those people, the church, church police are telling you, oh my God, you got to go in there seven days a week. No, I'm talking about your personal, personal relationship with God. The reason why your neighbors can go ahead and manifest stuff is because your spiritual leader been lying to you. They don't want you to get in that Bible. Some of them, I'm not speaking for the ones that's good. They, I mean, really? They want you to go in that Bible and learn that most of the stuff that they say don't even make sense. It's all right if you stay there. Yes, we, we, God bless us with shepherds. But you know what? You better be careful. And those of you who come to my channel realize I've been hurt. I've been dragged. I've been victimized. I've been compromised with all my spiritual belief. I can't believe it no more. Yeah, but that's because one man, one woman, or a group hurt you. What about God? You should know who your source is because once you know who your source is, then you can have visions. Then you can revise your dreams. You see all those dreams you had years ago and somebody told you you would never be and never do? Those was whispers that was actually seeds planted into your conscious mind. So you as an adult, you will, you will be so busy trying to rewind the misery. Some of you spend, yeah, yeah, I hate the holidays because you spend it in a way where you trying to please everybody and buy everybody love. But then at the same time, you sitting there saying, and you only notice your lack. You only know what you don't see on the outside. Remember the outside is a picture, but we got to go inside the cup. As a producer, you are the one who foster your environment. That means that your house, when I walk in your house, your house is telling me everything about what's going on in your mind. I don't care if you have babies around. People used to walk into my house when my daughter was young and say, I do not believe you have a baby. If you walk in my house now, I have a dog. You would not believe I have a dog. Do you understand? You are the producer. You the one who's supposed to navigate everything. You supposed to go into, just like a producer, go into the set and you say, hey, okay, I can fund this. I like that. I, yeah, I can see. I can see. Okay, okay, yeah. And then you, and sometimes you don't meet all of them. But see, God will be your invisible, your invisible, that link that you have. So when you are sleeping, somebody is moving on your behalf, just like your neighbor. She don't worry about nothing because she go in there and she do her affirmation. She may do her prayer. Remember, prayer is not begging. She may go ahead and do her affirmations. You understand what I'm saying? Visualization. See, this is stuff that you don't know. Now, you might see the person tell you, I got a vision board or treasure map, but inside her, What's going to help her manifest is what's going on inside your head, your whisper, your conscious mind that's going to seep down into your innermost subconscious mind. Now, for those of you who didn't get that, just think about it like this. People can go past your house all day. Your apartment may look good. Your house may look good on the outside. But it's when things start getting messy, people say, I smell something. The stink will come out the door from under your apartment. Eventually, critlers will be crawling and it'll, it'll be an infested problem right around with the house you live. Yeah, you people could have a house and be, you can be renting one or you can have own one and brought your conscious level up to buy one, but then you don't know how to live in it. You know, you know where that's coming from? They got to go open the door. You ever seen somebody who was looked like they was clean on the outside and you went to their house and it was roast infected and whatever, whatever? It stank, it was dirty, it was they got furniture everywhere. And they'll tell you don't move that paper because it's what's going on in the inside. Your mind, your mind, everything's going on in the outside. It's going to show up in a manifestation. So some of y'all first of all can't manifest because your mind is crowded. You got so much going on in your mind, you get this is why you see people just burst. Am I talking to you? This is why people go and search so hard for somebody to love them because they just don't see how anybody can love them because they guess what? They don't love themselves. The producer. Link up with the highest person, the highest source. And that's where your visions and your dream, I guarantee you, you start getting them. 
Now, those of you who say, well, I'm, a, I'm, I'm I, you know, I uh, have seen many, many. Let me answer this question because you're not going to believe this. Uh, you know, some of you say, well, I just don't understand. My, I got two co-workers that are agnostic or they might not even believe in God. Atheists. You notice that they they doing better than you, but you you're spiritually the food you to thinking that you are better than them because you go to church at least on Sunday you stay in church for three hours, but yet you begging God for the next bread. No, baby, you are the producer, and I am here to tell you that this play of revision is going to start. From your vision, you need to oversee. You need to look again. You didn't somebody tell you that's repent, think again. You need to do these things. Yes. Let me give you another scripture. Let's go back in the Bible because some people just say, ah, Proverbs fifteen twenty two. This is the NIV. Proverbs fifteen twenty two. Plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors or visees, they succeed. Listen, a producer have somebody in his ear. A producer, like the athlete, your favorite athlete, your favorite actor, your favorite actress, companies, Apple, Yahoo, Amazon, somebody is in their ear, you know? Because they have to have a certain vision in order for them to turn around and get ready to direct everybody. Yes, because I'm going to tell you something in these next few podcasts that you don't want to miss. Because I'm going to tell you something. You are the director and we're going to discuss that. I'm going to go and teach you how to be the writer And then the actor or the actress, what I want you to do before we even get to the next one that's coming up later, I need you to get a vision. I need you to go get your vision board and I need you to just have a big one or a small one and start having a vision of what you want. Do you want more money? Do you want a bigger house? Do you want expansion? Do you want a new state? Maybe you need new clothes. Maybe you need a transformation. And you know why I can do it? Because I consider myself the master manifester. I don't snap my finger like I'm a genie, but I teach my clients how to master what they want. Everybody promised land is not the same. You don't need to go and get your Bessie promised land. This is where jealousy come in. You don't have to because what's good for her might not be good for you. And in order for you to know what's good for you, you have to know within yourself who you are. Who are you really? And you will never know who you are until you go to the highest source of the manufacturer who will teach you who you are. You was made in his image. And if you was made in somebody's image that powerful, then guess what? It's already in you. It's already within you. Remember what Neville said? Nothing comes from without. It all comes from within. Within, you'll get that later. Just understand that we are going to create this. We're going to revise your life play. So you got to get a vision of who need to get out of that play and who need to come into that play. I'm not telling you to go start packing suitcase, say, get out, get out. Have a vision of what you want your house to look like. You can start by going in there and saying everything needs to be clean. People should walk in your house. It should smell good. It should look good. I don't care if you got one couch in there. You should make sure everything, even the walls are painted good. You can go to the dollar store and get the best stuff that you can get. So it's no such thing. Salvation Army, whatever thrift store. I used to do that and people used to walk in my house and say, what? (laughs) Because listen, most of the time the wealthy people go and give their stuff away. So if you're going in there getting a couch for $100, somebody actually... That's some rich person who paid thousands of dollars. So don't knock out thrift stores. You can get a dress for $5 and you don't know what that person paid for it. I'm giving you little tidbits. This is very important because when I want, when you come back to the next one, we're going to go into a director. I'm going to give you a little bit of tidbit. The director is the one who connects the audience and make them have a, a 
deeper human experience. Basically what they do, they are shaping the emotion of the landscape and everything like that to direct them. But see, he have to have that vision from the producer. And that's where you come in. You must come back with a vision. Even the affirmation or whatever you want. But until we meet again, you need to go ahead and you need to start hooking up to your lifeline and praying. Because some of you say, I just don't know what way to go. That's where you get your calmness. That's where you get everything. Look, God will speak to you, speak through you through so many facets of life. And one of the biggest things is nature. Find out what it is that he always had for you. I know you're going to say, ah, oh, it's just too late. It's never too late. I don't care how old you are, 70, 80. You can still do it. So once you find out now that you're the producer, we're going to go into the director. The director. Yes. Now, if somebody else is producing your life play and it's, you are not happy, you need to fire them. Okay, so once you go ahead and fire them, then you're going to come back and you know what you're going to do? You're going to come back and we are going to dive into this next thing called directors for your revision of your life play. I am so thankful to all of y'all. And right now, I am just glad you came on my journey. I'm glad because it's time that you manifest your dream. I'm glad that some of you saying this is it. Go get your friends. Go get your Bessie. Go get your family and say, hey, we getting ready to listen to this thing about our life play. Don't miss out in ordering the main supper, dinner, my book. It's everywhere. Barnes and Nobles. It's on Amazon. It's on English Sparks. It just draft the digital. It's, it's in every library out there. Go get it. Give it to somebody as a gift. I don't care if it's, it's the New Year's. I don't care what it is. Birthday, whatever. Why do I say it? Because that'll give you a better understanding of who I am and how I come to teach you how to go into your promised land. What is new? Everything. I am finishing it up another book and I'm not even going to tell you about that because you're going to be like what that's going to be so deep but I want you to do something until we meet again remember if loving yourself is right you don't want to be wrong <laughs>